Sasuga <laughs> Now we've been hearing a lot about the genocide on the news and what you guys are doing to help out. Uh, each one of you can make such a huge impact. That's just so awesome. So thank you folks so much. We've got time for one more song and uh, there's so much more going on this afternoon. We'll be back a uh, little bit later on, but right now we want to play you folks a song that we hope you enjoy. It's called Just Another Day.
Friday I, I didn't make finals, I actually I had a competition as I'm going uh, I let them walk me down and got out of my competition time. And on Sunday, uh, I just made sure that no matter what happened, I stayed focused and uh, I only felt so things that I had control about the one on the speed. A big thank you, I guess, to the local group that put this together. This is amazing. I, I can't even fathom having done this when I was in grade 10. And you guys did a great job of the uh, torch run this morning. Who was on the torch run this morning? Yeah, we froze our butts off. It was awesome. So that was great. And uh, up next, I think uh, Debbie is going to be a speaker. She's going to shed some light on the situation and share some of her personal stories. She was actually um, in Sudan, and it's pretty touching. So give her your attention. And uh, thanks for having me today, and thanks for the opportunity to participate. We. You'll be surprised. You think that you can do something as one individual, but you can spread the word. That's all I have to say. Let your voice be heard. Thanks. watching his two-year-old son be slaughtered, his parents slaughtered, and his wife slaughtered. He cried during the interview, I bawled during the interview. I think Mustafa went into shock seeing me break down. Um, and at the end of it, I'll always remember he said, life is nothing when you have no one left. So that was the start of what we were going to hear every day. Evan. Hello. So, what are your thoughts on the rally? I thought it was unbelievable. Uh, you guys did a really good job, and I mean, getting 1,700 students out to a rally like that is great work. It ran to a T, and we did a really good job. Um, what are you going to tell the people at Stand? Well, I'm going to tell them that this is one of the best organized events I've seen, and I'm going to spread the word about it, and I'm going to try and put it in an editorial of the Ottawa Citizen and hopefully get the word out afterwards to the media. Okay, are you gonna miss us? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, good. All right, all. Um, what did you think about the rally? It was the best organized and biggest conference I'd spoken to in my three years of doing my speech, especially specifically this year I've done my speech about 50 times and never had I had such a great organized event with so many people, it was awesome. And when are you going to go back and tell your friends? That if seven of you, of the core group, can do something that amazing, that big, then groups where they have 20 people should be able to organize 500 people to come. 5,000, I should say. 